let me discuss the benefits of benching with a belt on. Before I do so, you should know that this is 100% optional. In fact, the benefits are not that significant. So if you think this is going to add a bunch of pounds to your bench or that it's even comparable to squats and deadlifts, you're dead wrong. There's a reason why a lot of world-class benchers don't do this. Some do, others don't. Either way, there are some benefits that we should be objective about and discuss. So let's do it. The first thing is that the Valsalva maneuver, which is when you take a nice deep breath, <gasps> will be enhanced when you wear a belt. Just like it is enhanced when you do any other compound movement, so will it apply to the bench. When you're in that nice arch position and everything is locked in, you're tight, well, guess what? It makes you more tight because now you have something to actively press against. And with the bench, tightness is very, very important in terms of injury prevention and maximizing the amount of weight that you can lift. You never want to be flimsy. You never want to be like a loose spaghetti, all right? You always want to be really, really locked in. And using that belt might make that difference for you. I know that it does for me. I feel way, way, way more stable when I bench with a belt on, especially when I'm doing heavy overloading exercises that involves bands or chains, or if I'm doing pin presses, dead stop work, I find that it helps with being explosive because now I'm like super, super tight. So if you want to reinforce that tightness, similar to how putting bands on the bench will do this, well, this is another tool in the toolbox. The second benefit is that it keeps your lower back in an amazing position. This is especially beneficial if you just finish doing squats or pulls. Sometimes you can be a bit cramped up. And if you're using a powerlifting style bench where your arch is a little bit dramatic, well, putting a belt on can really, really help with that stability. Okay, some guys get cramped up lower backs when benching. This could solve the problem. Similar to overhead pressing with a belt, okay? Just how some guys get hamstring cramps on the bench because of the leg drive, because they just did squats before, the same thing can apply to the lower back especially if you have lower back issues. If you've had injuries in the past or you're currently dealing with something, I would recommend benching with a belt on. Some guys cannot maximize their arch or this ability because they feel pain in that area. Well, I'm telling you, if you have problems, put a belt on and it might make a difference. I know that for me, because I have really good mobility and a pretty solid arch, the belt really makes a difference. I never get cramped up or anything like that. So I recommend you give it a shot if you're someone who wants those benefits. Finally, this is a very weird benefit, but I found it to be true based off my experience. And other guys have reported the exact same thing. The belt, oddly, prevents your butt from coming off the bench. I have absolutely no idea why this is the case. The way I see it, it's a signaling system. You got this belt low on your body, and it's locking you into position. You have maximum stability going on, and it's saying, hey, don't raise that butt off the bench. You're good. You're locked in. It's similar to putting on your seatbelt. Or going to the amusement park. Maybe you're going on a roller coaster and they put that thing on you to lock you in just so you don't move. In many cases, you actually will move a little bit, but because you're locked in, it adds to that extra sense of security in a sense. And I think the same thing applies to benching with a belt on. I'm someone who I've always had trouble with this. Whenever I would use my leg drive, uh, my butt would come off the bench. But ever since I've been using a belt, which has been for a good year now, this rarely ever happens. It still happens once in a while. It's not bulletproof. It's not magical. Like I said, the differences are not super significant when you try this out. But nonetheless, it's something that you may experience. So if your butt has a tendency of raising off the bench, try putting on a belt and it might prevent that. I know it does for me and other lifters have reported the exact same thing. So in summary, putting on a belt accomplishes three things. Number one, it enhances the Valsalva maneuver, which adds to that extra stability, which is always a great thing when you bench. Two, it keeps that lower back in a safe position, which is great if you have injuries or you just finished doing a full body session or you just don't want to get cramped up, period. And then finally, it minimizes the risk of your butt coming off the bench, which is always a great thing. So those are some benefits in wearing a belt. I've been doing this for about a year now and I'm really enjoying it so far. So I will continue doing this. Give it a shot. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you won't. Either way, I want to know your feedback. So with that said, talk to you all in the next video.